helping out Central Nebraska kids. That's what they do at Children's Rehab in Grand Island. Let's take a look in Health Connections. Time now for another edition of Health Connections, and I'm in a busy place today. It's Children's Rehab in Grand Island. Busy because this uh, there's a lot of noises going along here, helping a lot of kids. Jen joins me, and so does Deb here from Children's Rehab. Jen, let's start with you. When we talk about April, we have to remember it's Autism Awareness Month, right? Yes, that is correct. It is Autism Awareness Month, and I know that um, that is something that we do a lot um, to try to educate patients and parents as well as others in the community. Um, with the growing number of patients with autism, I think it's very important that we're on top of um, that diagnosis. Um, one in 68 children are diagnosed on average with autism. Um, it is four times more likely for males than females. And so we work with a variety of different patients as young as 18 months and up, which is when we start to see those signs of regression in the language. Um, system. But we also work with our physical and occupational therapists to address their needs um, in those areas of development as well. It's not just um, speech and language or communication and social skills, but it's also affecting the physical and the fine motor development. And that's where we bring Deb in. And Deb, talk a little about this uh, physical development. These kids can be helped and their lives can be uh, helped a great deal. In fact, how do you do that here at Children's Rehab? Well, as far as physical therapy goes, we look at their um, core strength because where they have a lot of anxiety whether it's a social situation or um, maybe change in routine we can help them feel a little more secure by um, having a good strong foundation and then also looking at range of motion because they can develop muscle imbalances and we also look at breathing techniques to help reduce some of the stress and anxiety that can come along with that and then the uh the uh, speech piece to this as well. What, what do you do to help these uh, young patients uh, have a better quality of life? Well, we work with a variety of different patients. Some of our patients are verbal mm -hmm. and others are nonverbal. Um, and so we're addressing all types of different needs. Of course, communication is essential to basically um, communicate what you want, what you need, as well as what you know, and socially interact with others. And so we work with patients using a variety of different strategies to improve those communication skills. Um, we do know that some patients work better with um, visuals or manual signs incorporated with the verbal language. Um, and it also helps to reduce their frustration levels. Being able to communicate what you want or need um, so that others understand results in less behavior. Mm -hmm. What we know is behavior is communication, and so replacing those inappropriate or um, undesirable behaviors with a form of communication oftentimes improves that um, negative behavior that we're dealing with at times. And Deb, talk a little about how many times uh, does a patient come in, and I'm, I'm assuming their parent comes in as well. This turns out to be a few times a week, month. How does this look exactly? It, it varies just depending on what that individual child needs, mm -hmm. the level of care that they need. But it can be anywhere from, yeah, once or twice a month to two or three times a week. Very good. Deb, Jan from Children's Rehab, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. All right, nice job. Let's turn to Dave with sports. Yes. You missed the winning basket last night. Oh, well, I got to watch that. <laughs> Thankfully, the, the internet is oh, that a thing. thing. And you can that is there. a thing. You can watch the stuff. He was doing sports live when the game, and the championship my eye on game that, was on going that. on. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think